register that are registered with Metro Access. So if you already are a DC resident and you register with Metro Access, you're already in the program. So that's the beauty of it. As soon as you get your registration with uh, Metro Access and being a DC resident, you're already in it. So Maryland and Virginia residents are not included in this program. It's all for you, okay? And the beauty of this program is uh, that uh, if you are registered with Metro Access and you want to use a service to get around the city, you're getting it, getting a taxi cab at a discounted rate. So this this service is is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's called Transport DC. And uh, they have very specific guidelines about how you book and everything. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Give me one second. I'm sorry. And um, then I'll share. Uh, you said I can share my screen. Is that? Yes. Is that let me give you permission to do that. Okay, yeah, you. I've given you permission already. I've done so. Okay. Let me find the document. Forgive me. And then, um, then I'll share the screen. Should be opening up right now. And then I'll just read through it, and, and everyone can follow along. Are there people that are dialed in, it or everyone's on tablets today? Everyone is on. Yeah. No one's dialed in. That is awesome. That is so cool. I'm sorry. I just love stuff like that. That's awesome. So, so kudos to you. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Uh, let's see who can share. It says host only. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm selecting host only, but it doesn't appear to be to give me any other options. So let me just try and share. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got okay. It, it just mm -hmm. popped up. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to share uh, my screen. Do you see where it says new transport DC program notes? No. Okay, yeah, here it is. Okay. It's here now. Yeah, maybe slowly painting on your screen depending on your um, your web connection, your internet connection speed. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly just read over this and you can take notes. Um, I'm not sure if I can attach this. Maybe I can send this to you, uh, Ms. James, after sure. the presentation. You can share this with others if, if need be. It's yes. fine. This is uh, it's two pages. One is in English and the other pages in Spanish. So that might help if you have Spanish speaking users in the future. Okay, so um, so the so the base of this program, again, is called Transport DC. It's for DC residents that are registered with Metro Access. And again, if you're already registered with Metro Access, if you're on this call, you're already in this program. So you can actually call and start using it today. It's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I put in here in order what you need to do if you're not already a Metro Access user. And for, pe for people who are not familiar with Metro Access, they provide transportation throughout the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area, so the DMV. And um, they provide uh, paratransit uh, support transportation for people who have a diagnosed disability. Now, I always tell people, uh, you may have an undiagnosed disability. And they're like, what do you mean? Well, I talked to a lady just yesterday. I did a presentation in Southeast at a, at a senior facility. And she said that she has, she's had an issue walking for, I don't know, 20 years, but it hasn't been diagnosed. She may have an undiagnosed disability. So if she spoke with her doctor, that may be possible that she, she may actually qualify for someone uh, with a disability status. Um, so, uh, so when you call Metro Access, if you look at the top of the screen, it says call Metro Access at 202-962-1100. Again, it's 202-962-1100. That's to register and also to see if you're eligible for the Metro Access program. Now, some people say, well, I don't want to register for Metro Access uh, because I, sometimes I don't like to ride in one of those buses with multiple people. Well, Metro Access is somewhat different right now because it's during the pandemic, even though it's the tail end, they, they, I think they're still doing one-offs where they will put us uh, in one car for one person. But with this program, uh, you don't have to use Metro Access. You need to register for it. So if you register for Metro Access, the Metro Access staff understands people want to use, use this to get into Transport DC. Please do and tell them that. They'll, they'll help you because they want you to use this program. So tell them that you want to register for the Transport DC program and become a Metro Access participant. Once you get your Metro Access ID card, uh, through it's going to be an application through your doctor's office and also talking to the staff at Metro Access. They're going to do an interview of sorts to make sure that you uh, are, are someone who would have a, a disability and defined as a disability. Then they give you the Metro Access card. When you start booking with us, you must call this 800 number. Now, let me explain to you why that is. 
Uh, the agency that, that manages this program is called the Department of Hire Vehicles, and their guidelines are because there are three different cab companies in this program. So it's a DC Yellow Cab, VIP Cab, and Transco. And Transco has several uh, subsidiaries, so you may see different names that come pick you up sometimes. So when you call, you can't call us directly. So you must call an 800 number to reach each of the taxi cab companies that are affiliated with this program. That number is one 844-322-7732. Again, it's 1-844-322-7732. And when you call that number, you're going to get one of the three cab companies. And again, this is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the reason why we're encouraging you to use this program is because it gives you a discounted rate. You will get a taxi cab that will come to your door any time of the day, 24 hours a day, one in the morning, two in the morning, whatever, it doesn't make a difference. You pick the time, it's on demand. And all you're paying is $7 for the taxi. Now with this program, you can take it as long as you're picked up in DC and dropped off in DC, take it anywhere you want as long as you're in DC because it is called Transport DC. We kind of say the definition is in the name. <laughs> so again, the telephone number you would call to book is 1-844-322-7732. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And remember, you cannot call the cab company directly. And the reason that is, is how they build this, it's kind of, it's more high tech like our tablets, right? They build it like this. When you call that 800 number, it tracks, it creates a booking code that you don't see that we see at the cab companies. And that code is used as a form of payment for you to give you a discounted rate. But if you call us directly, that code is not generated. So then you would end up paying a full price fare. And we know taxi cabs can be kind of expensive with full price fare. So make sure you call the 800 number when you book, okay? All right, can I get thumbs up? Everybody is aware of that because we don't want you to actually have to pay a full price fare. That can be kind of expensive. Now, um, so when you, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna get your Metro Access ID in, in the mail and have your picture. Of course, you're gonna go through the registration process. And once you get that ID card, when you call that 800 number, make sure you have it ready because you may have to give that ID number as a point of reference because they can pull up your record and make sure you're on the current user list. So make sure you have that ID card with you. Now, uh, with this program, you can also, which is great, you can take up to two people with you at no extra cost. So if, say, you had a relative, some people will bring like a grandchild with them to assist them with packages and such, or, or if you have an aide, a designated aide. You can bring your aide or just a couple of friends. That's fine. So three people will ride in the taxi cab and all you're paying is $7. It's a great program. And in the examples of like people say, well, what do you use this for? You can use it for anything. It's not restricted to medical. It used to be medical in places before me years ago. Now it's wide open, which means you can use it to go to a grocery store, go see a friend, go to a movie. doesn't make a difference as long as you're using the service and you're a Metro Access uh, uh, user and you live in DC, you can use it for anything whatsoever. It's a really great program for that. And like I said, on an, all you're paying is $7 for an on-demand taxi that will come directly to your door or wherever you are in DC to pick you up. As long as there's an address, you can book it. Now, um, um, remember this is a paratransit program too, and I'll get to the number of trips you get per month, but just saying this, remember it's a paratransit program. So you can, if you request, if you need, that is if you cannot transfer from your wheelchair, if you're, if you're wheelchair bound from a wheelchair to the vehicle, then you must, and you need an abs absolutely need a wheelchair accessible vehicle, you can call, make sure you ask for that when you book your taxi, okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure that you say, I need a wheelchair accessible vehicle and they will send a wheelchair accessible vehicle. But for people who don't need that, that means you can transfer, meaning uh, you, you can uh, you be assisted from the wheelchair to the car. The driver will then fold it up and they will put it in the back of his, his or her sedan, which is great because there are more sedans out there. So if you don't need a wheelchair accessible, you definitely will get picked up without it, without a shadow of a doubt, because the sedan will come pick you up, fold the wheelchair and put it in the back of his trunk. They do that all the time. OK, now um, let's talk about the program guidelines. Now, they will give you at the seven dollar rate up to 10 trips a month to ride at $7, which means it'll be $7 up and then $7 back. Remember, $7 up and $7 back. So at least they need to have at least $14. Now, you can pay for this uh, via cash or credit card or debit card. As long as it has a Visa or MasterCard logo on the card, you can swipe that or, or insert it in the backseat car or 
depending on the technology that 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 cab that that cab company has. Because remember, there's three different cab companies. And you should be able to use your credit card or cash as a form of payment at the end of the trip. Okay, at that reduced rate. Now again, you get up to ten trips a month, so you can use these ten trips a month any time of day, as long as you're using it to to pick up in DC and drop off in DC. Doesn't matter. Remember, seven dollars up, seven dollars back. And remember, with this particular account, you also have, if you're uh, getting dialysis treatments with Transport DC, make sure when you register that you get your, your um, dialysis treatments uh, uh, approved on that list as well, because those trips are absolutely free. You don't pay a dime. So uh, typically dialysis uh, patients are get a treatment at least three days a week. So those three days a week, those trips don't do not affect the other 10 trips that you get, which means you can get those unlimited dialysis trips for the month and they don't affect the other 10 trips you have. So you get the 10 trips plus your dialysis trips. So just make sure that you're aware of that. This program is here for you to use to get around the city at a reduced rate or free if it's dialysis and it's free up and free back for your dialysis trips. But you can pre-book those as well. Make sure you schedule those because, of course, you cannot miss your dialysis appointments. You have to go to, go to those on a regular basis. So you pre-book those and uh, you're good to go. Now, um, with this program, again, if you have any questions or anything, you can feel free to call us. And remember, this is for information only when you're calling us directly. But for booking, you must call the 844 number. But for, if you have information or questions about this program, you can call us at 202 Five four four one two one two, and we'll try to get you answers. If we can't, um, you can call me directly, and you can leave a message, and that's fine. You can call me at two zero two four two zero seven five two zero. Again, two zero two four two zero seven five two zero. If you have any questions, uh, just like what I'm doing today, I'm doing events a lot of times, like yesterday and today. So if I'm not available when you call, just leave a voicemail. I'll get an email alert. Uh, from that voicemail, and then I'll, I'll, I'll call you back as soon as I get it, okay? But just try to be patient. And again, I'm doing events like this. Um, so uh, again, this is the Transport DC program. It's uh, all month long. You get 10 trips a month uh, at the reduced rate of $7. At the end of the month, when it's over with, the next month, you get an additional 10 trips. So you use those trips during the 10, 10 during the month. When you use them up, that's over. And then you get reset the next month, get another 10 trips every single month, okay? So I think it's a great program. Um, I don't mind Ms. Ms. James taking questions right now if anyone has some. Okay, so let's go down the list with the hands. I see Brenda, your hand is up. I'll ask you to unmute and go ahead and ask your question. Thank you. Um, Mr. Grayton, um, now my mom, I had to register her with uh, Metro Access some years ago where we had to go down to 6th and E Street and get the paperwork, and then we had to take it back to her doctor. Then we had to come back down there. You know what? The procedure is still the same since the pandemic, Pandemic, you know, has taken place. Yeah, that's hey, Chris. Fantastic. Oh, you on the call, sir? Yeah, I'm on the call. How you doing? I'm sorry, Rich. Go right here, sir. Oh, no. Good afternoon, everybody. I, uh, my name is Reggie Warren with Metro Access. I can answer that question for you. Um, okay. The process hasn't, um, the process has changed a little bit due to the pandemic. What happened is that now uh, you get the application, you mail it into us. And what we do, you, you mail the application into us. We give you 14 to 21 days. Uh, give us 14 to 21 days. We'll process the application, let you know whether you receive the service. But we also make sure, we want to make sure that you put all the pertinent information on that application so that um, we, won't have, we won't have any questions and make a determination if you Metro Access. Uh, I, I tell everybody, please certify the mail because we've had problems with mail in this area. Uh, okay. So you know that we received the application. Also, just to let you know, uh, in the future, we probably will be going back to the old way we used to do it. We would send you would get the application at your you'd get the application, and then what you what we would do we would come, once you complete you would call us. We schedule an appointment. We come out to your house and pick you up and bring you into Metro and do the assessment. But right now, we're not doing it as of yet. Once you can do the application again, now just complete the application, mail it back to us, and we'll let you know if you get the service. Okay. Okay, so can I, I can just call and have an application mailed to me? Yes, ma'am, you can do that. Great, you call, okay. You can go 202 right. 962, the number's Chris, they 202 962 1100, and they right. will send you an application. Okay. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank man. you, Resino, for being on board. Mm -hmm. This is Teresa, I'm the hostess. Welcome. Hi, Teresa. Hi. I had, excuse me, I had a problem. 
I had a little problem getting on. I guess this is my own end, so I'm sorry about being late, but I'm here. Well, Chris, um, he made it on time, so he made up for that. Um, we have our second question coming from Diane Leash. Go ahead and unmute Diane and ask your question. Uh, good afternoon. My question is this. I take the um, cab all the time, but I noticed that if you don't pay the $7, and you pay by credit card is more. They charge the credit card plus taxes and something else, and it came up to nine dollars or something. Mm. No, well, that that should not be the case. Do you um do you know which cab company that you rode with? No, I I didn't pay that no mind. I was just that's what I noticed. Okay, um, what I could do, like, I could do a follow-up with you after this call so we can investigate and see what exactly happened. And whether it was us or the other two cab companies, it should be $7. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if wh whatever that transaction was, if they had some kind of issue, but no, it should be $7. Oh, okay. But well, I'm, I'm not really concerned about it. Oh, what, what's it. A, but you know, if it's a dollar something, I don't care because I usually pay $10 anyway. Yeah. Because I give a tip. Well, there's an expectation you should have, so you should expect to pay seven. But yeah, let me. Um, you have? Did you take my contact information that I gave out earlier? No, I did not. I'm. I'm a, I. I. I, I can't work but one hand. Oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, if you're ready, I can give it to you one more time. Wait a minute. I got it. In fact, everyone should get a pen at this point and write your number down for future. Okay, what's the number, please? It's 202-420-7520. Okay. I'm going to put it in the uh, in the chat as well. And what's your name again? Christopher. And the Christopher, last thank you. Great ton. It's G-R-Y-T-O-N. Spell it G R Y T O N. G R A Y T O N. Gray Ton. Thank you. Welcome, man. I got it. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Give me a call, and um, like I said, if I'm if I'm at a meeting or just not available because you know we do all multiple things a lot nowadays, just leave okay. a little detailed, and I'll get back to you. Okay. And so we okay. Can our next question is coming from Portia Carson. Go ahead, Portia. Sir, I like to know. Um, you said it, the ride is seven dollars. Is that one way? Yes, ma'am. It's seven dollars one way, and then seven dollars uh, again on the way back. Should be a total of fourteen dollars if you're making two trips. That's correct. Okay. Okay. This, okay, and you say you have to to uh, be a part of natural access. Yes, ma'am. And nah, how do I, how do I, um, I can call these numbers and, and, um, and apply for it. Yes. Um, and Mr. Ward, uh, the gentleman that just spoke uh, briefly, he's going to discuss more in detail about Metro access and getting, getting set up for that. It's a great, great, uh, uh, agency, the company, and they do a lot of great work transporting people throughout the DC area. I mean, DC, Maryland, and Virginia, we just do DC. They do DC, Maryland, Virginia, so they uh, they have a large swath of people to take care of. But um, but yes, ma'am, it's seven dollars up, seven dollars back, and he will discuss in more detail about registering for Metro Access. Okay. Okay. Now, where'd you get the application for the, the seven dollars trip? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, once once you become registered with Metro Access, you're automatically entered into the Transport DC program, so you don't have to reapply. Once you're in that program, you're in in our program as well. Oh, okay. Now, how many days you got to call ahead of time if you need a ride? Uh, you can call right away if you need a what? ride. Uh, you, we all, if you want to get picked up at a specific time, try and call these an hour in advance if you if we do something like that. Uh, because they used to allow pre-book trips all the time, but they felt mm. for more efficiency, they say call right away because there's, there's always taxes available. And it is based on availability, but the opportunity to get a tax is pretty high. Um, so it should be no problem with that. Um, 
Yeah, but just you can call right away or you can pre-book at least an hour in advance. You know, they'll set up a taxi to pick you up. Thank you, uh, Portia. I'm now going to go on to Pauline Harris. I don't know that I have another question. <laughs> can you hold that question for another round? We've got most <laughs> others waiting. Right. And you can follow with this. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, Pauline, go ahead. It's your turn. Hi, everyone. Um, my first question is, are you going to extend outside of DC area with this program? Because right now, I've been in a program since it started, first of all. Okay. And it only, um, it's only for DC area. Yes. Are you planning on extending outside like Virginia and Maryland? Because I have doctor appointments all over. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, for the transport DC program, no, they are not considering it because this is a DC to DC pickup, DC destination. Uh, and the reason is, uh, it's availability and response. So if we were to say have a driver in the cab driver pick you up to somewhere in Virginia, that driver coming back to DC would take much longer. And for the next person that needs that driver's uh, assistance or to their service to get around, it would take them much longer to get back and their response time will go down. So to keep the response time quick for you, they keep mm -hmm. the confines of DC. Also with the, the money that is being subsidized on these trips, they have a certain amount of money that they pay the driver and then it's also, uh, then you pay your portion the $7, but the rest is paid by the city. So it wouldn't be enough to cover the trips if they start going outside of DC. So no. right now, presently, it's, it's DC pickups to a DC destination. Okay, but, now, Christopher, I also have one big problem. Mm -hmm. On August the 31st, okay. I call a cab, y'all a cab answer. Okay. When they, I told them I was in a um, motorized wheelchair, Okay. I need a handicap accessible cab. Okay. They sent me the wrong cab. So now I'm late for my doctor appointment. Mm -hmm. There's another cab passing by. Mm -hmm. I flagged him down, which was a handicap accessible cab. Mm -hmm. I got inside his cab. They said to call Yellow Bag, let them transfer the call to, I think it's called Transco on uh, Benny Road. Okay. That's the cab I, I enter. So that was, that was and, um, Happened to be another affiliated company that was right, right. So they told me I didn't have a ride, um, um, a, yeah. a call. Yeah, I, I missed my doctor appointment that day. So yeah. my question is, if I'm on the street and I flag down a cab, why I'm not able to take that cab that's available? Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm glad you brought that up because this, this is that kind of question is going to help multiple people. Man. I want to also, I'll address your issue too directly offline after this call to your specific issue. But yeah, this program is, is uh, the only way you can book with this program to be affiliated with the transport district program at that discounted rate of $7 is to call the 800 number. So not, because I think I briefly explained it earlier, it's a booking code that goes in into the trips to call the 800 number. And that booking code is the code that allows you to get a discounted rate. That's the subsidized rate. Otherwise, if you do a street hail, it's not affiliated in any way, shape. I understand that, but I, I did call. Y'all did book me. Right. Y'all sent the wrong cab. Right. There was a mix up. So, so now when I flagged down one that was available, mm -hmm. it seemed like to me, this, I should, should have been still in the system or something well, see, should have happened to, you know, to, you, you you know, to accommodate me. Yeah, you said you flagged down a taxi. Does that mean that taxi wasn't associated with that in any way shape or form. just some driver on the street at that point you understand mm -hmm. so for, for what we call those trips are called dispatch trips and the uh, metro access may call their trips dispatch as well that means it's coming from a request that's placed in the system for tracking and then it's dispatched out to a driver affiliated with that so some driver on the street is not affiliated with that or con connects to that in any way shape or form it's just a driver on the street so at that point he was not connected to that to that dispatch trip. But again, with your original issue, um, I'd like to just do some research on that and address. So please follow it with me after the call so I can address it. Right. Do some Thank research. you. Oh, Sorry you went through that experience though. That's okay. Was okay, there Christopher, are you taking more questions or you wanna talk some more? Um, I wanna just move on to the next thing. I'll be brief because I know Mr. Ward is waiting. Um, okay. uh, this is the, another program called Connect a Card, which I think you all 
will love, and some people already have something similar or they are, actually have the connect card that we have presented. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna share the screen on that and I'll be very brief, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. So this program is called connect card um, This is sponsored by the Department of Aging and Community Living. Uh, can everyone say that, see this is a blue border up top? Okay, thumbs up if you can see it. Yeah. Yep, Excellent. you can. Mm -hmm. okay, so this program is, is available to DC seniors 60 years and older. So you just need to be a DC senior 60 years and older and you have access to this program. That's the only pre-qualification, which is awesome. It means every senior in the city that's DC, I mean, that's 60 and older have access to this program. Uh, and what it is, is you can get up to $100 a month for transportation. So the Department of Aging is giving seniors that register for this program up to $100 for transportation. And, what, and, and this is every single month. And people ask me when I, we first started talking about this, is this a scam? No, it's not a scam. This is real, it's legitimate. It's, the, it's, the, it's, it's uh, uh, presented by the Department of Aging, the sponsored by them, and also with the mayor's office through funding. And it's a great program. And they designed this program for seniors to get out of the house. You need to get out for mental health, for physical health, you know, keep, keep moving. And if it's a simple thing of uh, not having enough to pay for transportation, they want to assist you with that. And so it's a great program. So if you'd like to get more information about this, you can call us at 202-420-7534. Again, it's 202-420-7534. And that's the Connect the Card program. If you feel web savvy, because you all have tablets, which is awesome, you could actually look, go to the website and get some information about it. And if you feel comfortable with it, you can actually uh, do your registration online. And that's at the website. If you can see that on your screen, that's connector, that's C O N N E C T O R. So connector hyphen or dash card.com. So again, it's connector hyphen card.com. And if you go to that website, you can get information about it. And if you feel comfortable with it, you can do the registration online. If not, you give us a call and we can mail it to you or we can bring you to our office. We have different ways that we can do the registration and to help you get into this program. Now, if you look at the guidelines, I'll give you an example. So someone that is, we, say, we see where it says group one, someone that has a minimum income of $0 and there are people that have a minimum income of $0 and a maximum income. So anybody between that, the zero to $12,139 per, per year, that is what they earn per year. They make a $0 contribution to this program and we will give them $100 every single month loaded on a debit card we use for ground transportation. And when I say ground transportation, I mean things like uh, taxi cabs, Uber, Lyft, Metro Rail, Metro Access, Metro Bus. Uh, they can use it for Amtrak, you can use it for Greyhound, and it's not restricted to the District of Columbia, which means you can use this as a form of payment for ground transportation services anywhere in the country as long as you have enough money on the card. I'm like, wow, that sounds great. Well, how am I supposed to get around with $100? Well, guess what? With this program, you will spend on this on this from your card, spend a certain amount of money. And if there's something left over, it carries over to the next month, which means you had hundred dollars this month. So you spent 50. That means 50 carries over to the next month. And then you get another load of hundred dollars, so which means you now have one hundred and fifty dollars. And this will go on until it reaches no more than three hundred dollars. And then it stops. We stop loading at three hundred. Then you need to use the card till your balance goes below $200 and then we start loading again. And some people will use this to get around. They, they save for a couple of months and then they decide to go visit a friend in New York or they get on one of those uh, Greyhound buses or they uh, decide they wanna use Amtrak and they go visit some family members in you know, North Carolina, that kind of thing. So people do this and they use it to get around. So we encourage you to look into this program, see what you qualify for. It, now that it is income-based as I stated earlier, so you would see where you would follow if you if you required to make any kind of contribution, and we would subsidize it for a certain amount for a total of $100. And remember, that money is 100% yours. It is not ours to keep. We don't keep it at all. That's your money to use for ground transportation. So again, if you'd like to register, you can call or get information. Call 202-420-7534, and that's to register for the, for the Connect the Card sponsored by the Department of Aging and Community Living, and, and funded with the mayor's office.
Okay. Uh, just take we'll take maybe two questions and then move on and give the floor to Mr. Ward because I know he's been patiently waiting. Okay, so our next two individuals. First is Sandra Edwards. Go ahead, Sandra, unmute, and then we'll follow with Robin Blue. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I have a question about Metro Access. I've been trying to get Metro Access for about a month now. Uh, Mr. Ward, would you like to go ahead and answer that question? Or what, what is your additional, did you have additional question, man? Yeah, I mean, what do I have to do to get Metro Access? I've called a number, but. Okay, well, um, what you need to do, ma'am, you need to get the application. You can call the number and get the application. We'll see an application. And once you get the application, you can mail the, have it completed by your physician stating your disability, the reason you're doing your ride Metro Access, and we'll have about 14 to 21 days to reply to you and let you know whether you get the service or not. Now, if you're having a problem getting the application, I'll give you my personal number and I'll send you an application. You can go online and get the application. Um, if you want to, if you just, uh, you can call me personally, 202-962. Uh, can you put it into chat for me? Yeah, I, I'll put it in the chat too, sure. Um, 2773. Again, it's 202-962-27773. And I'll send you an application. Also, uh, Christopher Craig told you earlier, you can call the number 202-962-1100 to get an application. Right. If you have any problem, we'll get your application to you so you can go and apply for the service. Okay. Thank you. I hold my question. Okay, we have room for one more question, and that is Robin Boob. Hi, hi. My question has been answered. Thank you. Oh, oh okay. So go ahead, Mr. Brayton. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for um for asking those wonderful questions today and attending this event. Uh, again, I don't want to take up too much more time. I know Mr. Ward uh, has a, a great uh, 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 presentation to give you about Metro Access and how to use it, and how to register, and also answer some of your questions that you have for me in regards to Metro Access. Mr. Ward, please take it away. And uh, everyone have a great evening. Thank you for joining. And thank you. Me too. Thank oh, you. Could, I, could I ask one question? Can you use this uh, connector card for Uber if you uh, did an Uber ride? Uh, yes, that's a fantastic question. Yes, you can use it for Uber, you can use it for Lyft, and you can use it for anything as long as it's ground transportation. And uh, we try to stress this you can't use it for a rental. Just think about it like this. If there is someone else driving a vehicle and transporting you, you can use it for that, ground transportation. Okay? That's a good program. Oh, thank you. Okay. And good you program. can use a form of payment for ground transportation as a visa or debit card, I mean, visa logo, which means you can just use it as a form of payment for any kind of ground transportation, whether you have to register or swipe or whatever, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome, man. Thank you, Mr. Great. If you can, Mr. can I ask sharing, one question? If you can stop sharing your screen so Mr. Ward can have access to share his screen. May I ask Christopher a question, please? <laughs> Let's you let him do it. <laughs> I'm trying. To, it looks like. Uh... Just hit the stop share or new, sh and then that way Mr. Ward can now have access. Am I still sharing my screen? Pardon me? Am I still sharing my screen? Uh, no, no, no. But that will give Mr. Um, Ward access to share his screen. Okay. Um, okay. And I don't see that available, Mr. Ward. Do you okay. have the ability to share on your side, sir? Um, I don't need to share my uh, screen because okay. I'm just going to have some general conversation. We're going to have some like a roundtable conversation, guys. So, okay. Are okay. we ready? Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Ward, how do you want your questions? Do you want to after you say something, you take questions? How would you like the I'm going, you know what, uh, I'll uh, pause in a few and let you ask, I'll give cover a little information, I'll pause and you can, you know, ask a few questions, I'll finish, then we can, you know, do that. Okay. Then you got a couple of questions. Uh, again, good afternoon, my name is Reginald Ward, I'm with the Metro Access, and a good afternoon, I'm sorry I was late, but I had some technical difficulties on my end, so sorry about the delay. But anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about Metro Access. Uh, Metro Access is a paratransit service that provides transportation throughout the Maryland, D.C., and Virginia area. Again, it's a paratransit service. It's a door-to-door -door paratransit service. That means this ride possibly will, possibly will be shared yeah, ride. And right, you know, due to the, when the pandemic, the full effect, we were no longer sharing the ride. It was, a, it was only the van operator, the passenger, and maybe a PCA. 
you had one. Mm -hmm. But now since the restrictions are, li are lifted, we are beginning to uh, ride a pat more than one pastor at a time. I haven't seen three pastors, but I've seen two on our vans uh, for, at this point right now. So we are beginning to uh, put two pastors on the van. And we do encourage each pastor, if you like to please wear a mask. I've, uh, some of our operators are still wearing masks. But it's just, you know that we are keeping our vans wiped down, clean, and uh, making sure they're safe for you guys to ride. Now, the question is, who qualifies for Metro Access? I'm glad you asked me that question. There's no age requirement. There's no income requirement. It's just about the, how you qualify for Metro Access. It's about, it's the way, it's your inability to ride the bus and the train on a regular basis. Again, it's your inability to ride the bus and the train on a regular basis. So you could be 15 years old and qualify for Metro Access. You could be 115 and qualify for Metro Access. You could make $3,000 a year to qualify for Metro, or you could make uh, you could be, uh, make $300,000 a year to qualify for Metro Access. It's not based on income or age. It's based on your inability to ride the bus and the train. What I mean by that, you could, have, you could be a person that has like congestive heart failure. And when it's extremely hot outside, you say, you know what? I can't ride the bus because I can't sit at that bus stop that long because it, it affects my breathing. Then you may want to apply for Metro Access. And, or you could have a person who's, going, who's undergoing cancer treatment. And you say, do I have the chemo? I, you know, I, I just don't feel like I could drive home. You may want to apply for Metro Access. Uh, or you could be some, your, your disability could be more, you could be a person on wheelchair using, you know, for the most problem, you need Metro Access all the time. Then you, you would qualify for, you could, you need to apply for Metro Access. Now with Metro Access, there's two types of eligibility. Number one, there's a fully eligible and the conditional eligible. Fully eligible means that some days, uh, uh, um, fully eligible means that so I can never ride the bus in a train because my disability has me such in a bad place all the time. I never, I never need to ride the bus in the train. Or you can say like somebody said, like a congestive heart, a person has congestive heart failure. Some days you say, it's hot, but it's not hot. I can ride the bus in the train. Or your person going to chemo or dialysis. So, you know, I think, so when I'm not doing dialysis, I can ride the bus in the train. So that means you would get Metro access in both of the cases, but the fully eligible mean that you would get a Metro access car that would allow you to ride the Metro access van only. That's all you can ride the Metro access van only. Conditional means that you get a, a Metro access car that would allow you to ride the van and the bus. I mean, the, the ride Metro access, the bus and the rail. But when you ride the bus and the rail with the conditional eligibility, that means you would ride the bus and the rail free of charge. Again, if you are conditional, that means that my condition sometimes is up, sometimes is down. That means you, you may be able to ride the bus and the train free of charge, but you're always going to pay for Metro Access. You always pay for Metro Access. Fully eligible means that my condition is so debilitating, has me so that I would never be able to ride a bus and a train. I just can't tolerate the bus. I can't tolerate the train. So I'm going to need Metro Access all the time. Therefore, you'd be fully eligible to ride Metro Access, and you would always pay for Metro Access. And Metro, metro Access the most we can charge you is $6.50. We'll take you from your home in Southwest Washington, D.C. to Gates and Bergen Brown for $6.50. We'll take you from Southeast D.C. to Tyson Point for $6.50. That's the most we can charge you. We'll take you to MGM from your house for $6.50. And that's one way round trip would be $6. Round trip would be $13. But again, that's the most we can charge you. We'll take you out to Virginia for $6.50. Wherever much Metro bus and rail go, that's what we'll take you for $6.50. That's the most we can charge. Now, sometimes, don't, it depends on what time you book that trip, we might well take you to Gatesburg, Maryland, from your house from Southwest, and it would only be $4.50. Again, if you book like during rush hour, it's most, it would be $6.50. Non-rush, it could be $4.55. $5. So it's dependent on when you book the trip. But again, the most that we can charge you is $6.50. Now, this application process, as I spoke about earlier, you can get the application online or you can call us at 202-962-1100. Again, that's 202-962-1100. One more time, 202-962-1100. And we will send you an application. Once you get that application, you have your doctor complete that application, state your disability that you are applying for Metro Access for. Now, if you apply for Metro Access for, um, you having, um, let's say you're having uh, heart problems, then don't get your podiatrist to do that 
application for you. Don't get your foot doctor to do it, the heart doctor. That's just that your that your cardiologist should do for you. Again, whatever the whatever your disability that you're applying that you want to apply for metrics for, get that doctor to do the application for you. So we'll have a better description of how your how that disability affects you. Okay. So sometimes people they tend to might get another doctor, the general practitioner or something, whatever, the, again, whatever that disability that you apply, that you think you need metro access for, access for, get that doctor to do the application for you. So we'll have a better idea of how we can serve you. Again, and we'll get that application, you mail it into us. We have about 14 to 21 days to process the application. Once it's processed, we will call you, email you if you got a good email, and let you know you have been approved for metro access. And we'll send you the card and then you can begin using metro access and what again as chris McCrayton stated earlier once you qualify for metro access you you automatically qualify for transport dc right now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a few questions and then i'll just finish my presentation okay so our next question is coming from let me look at my list um, but, and dennis go ahead and dennis unmute and ask your question Yes, um, thank you. Good morning. Um, excuse me, afternoon. It's afternoon. Bad day already. <laughs> um, I want to ask you a question. Um, I have a friend who is going blind and having a little disorder. He can't do things for himself, and I've been helping him. I'm crippled myself, so I'm uh, we, we're um, been together a long time, and um, he had to move out of my house because I have steps. So. He's in an apartment, but I want to know he it, he was a member of Metro Access before the pandemic. Okay. When I tried to book him a cab the other day, they said that they could not find his ID. Does that mean he has to apply again? Yes, ma'am. That means that his app, his uh, his, his probably is probably expired. He just needs to reapply again um, and get his you know his same. Um, uh, the same the same doctor is going to complete the application and most likely if he had at one time his condition hasn't changed it's just that his metro access has expired and he would get the metro access service it shouldn't be a it, it shouldn't be a lengthy process for him because again he he has had it and his, if his condition hasn't changed then he should be able to get the metro access just get the application okay now mm -hmm. um uh, the second question is uh he has moved from va to Howard Hospital, and he has a primary doctor now. Um, uh, so, would it be his primary doctor? If his prim if his primary doctor, I man, can speak to his condition. Okay. You know, then, then we can use that. You know. Okay. And state All what right. his, state what his, illness, his disability illness is, then we could use that. Uh, okay, because he's having trouble walking, and he walks with the walker. I do too. Okay, you know. Yeah. Also, if, if he needs a PCA, was he doing his application? request to tell him to make sure he put it that he needs a pca and that could be it could be if it's not you it could be a, another family member that could assist him on some of his trips and the pca he, ride, he has an eight both of us have aids okay mm -hmm. sure they would ride free mm -hmm. on the practice as long as they accompany with you okay, okay that i was i was still aware of that um i mean i thought that that was still what it was going on sure but okay. thank you so much you know you are a blessing to people and there are a lot of people who do not know that they can get Metro access without uh, having to pay a fee or uh, some people, you know, don't, don't know. Right. Yeah. So I tip it, it's not based on income. It's based on your inability to use the bus and the train. Okay. God bless you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Dan. Um, Reginald, do you have room for another question? Or? Yes, I do. Okay. So our next question is coming from Sandra Edwards. Go ahead and unmute Sandra. Sandra Edwards, on mute. Okay. Um, I have a question. I've been bed bound for going on eight years, but I started trying to walk. Would there be any, how would I put it? Were you talking about the cab and stuff? I was talking about Metro Access. Maybe I can assist you. Yeah, the, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Did you have a question about cab service? Yes, I uh, cab service and the um, Metro Access. Will it take me from D? Which one will take me from DC to Maryland? Metro Access would take you from DC to Maryland. 
Okay, good. Because I want to go back to church. Okay. Mm-hmm. And transport DC would take you all over DC. That's right. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to tag team, man. We're going to get you there. We're, our job is to get you there. And that's what we're <laughs> going to do. Yes, I want to get back to church bad. Right. We want to take you back to church too. That's what we do. <laughs> you take Thank us back to church right you. now. Right. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Y'all can come go to my church. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Thank our you. Next question, I'm with that, Sandra. <laughs> our next question is coming from Randolph Queen. Go ahead, Randolph, on mute. Randolph Queen on mute. Mm-hmm. Hello. Go can ahead. you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, my, I have a question about uh, Metro Access. I had a card once and I reapplied. On my application, I put my new address because I recently moved. But I haven't heard anything and it's been over, it's been since June or July. And uh, my question is, who do I call to contact about uh, the status of my application? Okay, you reapplied back in June or July? Yeah. Okay, uh, you haven't heard anything? Nothing at all. Okay, um, you could call the number 202-962-1100, or you could, you could I'll, I'll give you my number, you can call and I can see if I can get somebody to get in contact with you. And my number is okay. 202-962-2778. Okay. 2778? Yes, and I'll be the contact person that you can talk to. Okay. Thank okay. you so very much. You're certainly welcome. Okay. Our next question is come from Brenda McManus. Go ahead, Brenda, on mute. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ware, um, I was, I told you earlier about my mom with the process. Um, and at the time they were putting money on her card. Do they still do that? Or are you solely responsible for, you know, paying for your trips? For Metro access, you are responsible for paying for that trip. Okay. Yeah. You know, Christopher Creighton just told you about a program. You could use that money to pay for your trip to that car too, if you got that program. Okay, well, I'm, I don't have Metro access. I'm, I'm going to apply. Um, okay. But at the time when I got my mom in it, they, they were putting money on her card. So, you know, that's on her card? Metro access. She had a card and they, they, you know, it was a small amount, <clears throat> but <clears throat> wow. they, they were giving her money on her card. So I was just wondering if it, the process was still the same. Well, that's a, you know that's the first time I heard of that process. Really? Your mother must have been a, yes. So you know what your mother was uh, must have been. She's pretty special. Metro Metro was... <laughs> It's probably so was MTM. MTM. Yeah. does that. Yes, because Metro Access they normally don't do that. So maybe, maybe she has some connections. <laughs> yeah. Well, she could have. <laughs> she was, I must say she was really connected. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Bless her soul. My mom is. My mom has died, but yeah, she she had it, and I used to accompany her on her okay. trips. So, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna apply myself. Um, my okay. my disability is I walk with a cane, so okay. uh, hopefully I'll get approved. <laughs> well, you know what, I'll, Matt, I'll let, let, me, let me let me tell you this. I, I tell a lot of people this. Sometimes, if you when you're stating your case, if you say, well, you know. Some days, maybe the weather affects my walk. You know, say, say you walk with a cane because you have a little arthritis, whatever. Some yeah. days I can walk better than other days. Mm-hmm. Some days I really need metro access. Then you possibly, you, you'd get metro access, but you, what you would get, you would get conditional eligibility. Like I spoke about, and conditional eligibility okay. can give you the opportunity to ride metro access plus the bus and the rail. You got to pay for metro access, but you can ride the bus and the rail free of charge. Okay. Free of charge. Okay. Everybody don't know that. Sometimes people... They come in, they say, well, they, 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 they overcompensate. They, they say the disability is so bad. They want metro access so bad that they sell it so, you know, that they just can't do nothing. They can't, I just barely can make it. Then they get all upset when their friend comes, when their friend, their neighbor comes, I say, you know, I'm riding the bus and the train because I can, somebody I can ride and they ride free. 
Okay. Because they got nothing about success. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. again, if you tell it, if you present it like it is, I mean, then you might get you know get metro access, and plus you get the opportunity to ride the bus and train free because of your disability. You know. Okay. Okay. okay great. Thank you so much. Honesty Thank you. Best policy. Honesty is the best policy. There you go. It works out. It all works out in the end, right? That's right. That's right. Okay, we've got one more hand, and that is Denise Jackson. Go ahead and unmute Denise. Okay, how are, we, how are y'all? Um, this is a question for Christopher. That's, I think that's his name. Christopher? Yes. Um, my question was, you say we can rent cars with the connector cars? No, actually, it's just the opposite. You cannot rent cars. Yeah, you cannot use any rentals with the connector car. Yeah, they... they mm-hmm. Is this a common question? Is people are like, well, that's ground transportation, but no, it does not qualify. Yeah. So yeah, you cannot use it for any rentals, but you can use it to pay for your ground transportation. Again, examples, Uber, oh. Metro Rail, right. Right. Tabs. Yeah. Now, now I had a question. I had someone um saying say that when you were explaining the income part. My sister-in-law, I turned her on to it, and she filled the application out, and they got back in touch with her, and they told her she had to pay. Right. <laughs> so she was confused. She was like, I got to pay. She said, well, I don't want it. I said, well, let me explain. I had to explain it to her. I said, what they do, you pay. She had to pay $40, or even she could pay 20 and they'd give her 50 if she paid 20 or if she paid 40 she get 100 So I was explaining. I said, well, that's your money. It's not, they're not taking it. You, it's going to be there for you. You just have to put in and they put the rest to give you a hundred. Or right. so with her paying, she could do 50 or a hundred. Okay, it sounds like so she's doing it now. She understands it. She okay. thought they were just going to take her money no. <laughs> and, and give her a little bit. Yeah, and it's, it's, I'm glad you talked to her because it, it can be confusing. Because yeah, yeah, she uh, was confused. There are people that receive a hundred dollars, but they there are people with a maximum income, yearly income of twelve thousand one hundred thirty nine dollars. So someone in that in that range from zero, I know right. some, some people don't get anything at all. So yeah, our need. So this is this is system. It's a big deal to get this money because it helps them get around. Even if it's right, but once she got it, mind. she like it now. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, see, you know, because I get it and I have it. Oh, okay. I don't have to pay though. That's good. But it's real nice. I enjoy it. Like but that, that, that was it. Thank you for coming on. Most I appreciate it. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, well, you're welcome, Denise. Um, Reggie, um, it's your show again, Reg. Reginald? Okay, yes, I'm right here. Um, one more program I want to talk to you guys about, and um, let's just wrap it up. I want to talk to you about the Senior Smart Trip card. That card is for individuals that still ride the bus and the train, and you don't have any disability, which you are blessed not to have that. If you don't have that's great. Then you can get that Senior Smart Trip card, which allow you to ride the bus and the train every day, all day, for half price. The Senior Smart Trip card. That card will cost you $2 to purchase that card. And you say, where can I purchase that card? Or card? If you live um, in D.C., you can purchase it now at 655 Virginia Avenue, our new location, um, over in Southwest, right across from the Font Plaza Metro Station. Again, that's 655 Virginia Avenue. Or if you're a D.C. resident, the D.C. One car now uh, has um, the smart trip attached to it, which that's free to all D.C. residents. That's the D.C. One card. I'm not affiliated with D.C. One, but that's a car that Metro has a partner with and that card has the senior smart trip card attached to it that card that you give you access to the public library to department and rec facilities as well as access to the metro bus and rail services with that that's a free card uh, a free smart card attached to the dc1 card for all dc1 residents in order to get the smart card is one requirement you have to be 65 years young once you get that card to show proof of ID, proof of age, you get that card. You never need to buy another metro a uh, metro card. That card is for seniors that are six to five years young, and you can get that card. You can ride the bus and a train every day, all day for half price. We have a lot of seniors using that card. A lot of seniors um, they don't have any disabilities, which is great, uh, and illnesses and stuff like that. And they use our bus and rail service. And they pay half fat a ride. There. Again, two places you can get it from. You can get if you're a DC resident, I would encourage you to get the DC one card. 
called DC One. Again, I'm not affiliated with DC One, have nothing to do with it, but I'm telling you about a free card that you could get for seniors that will allow you to ride the bus and the train free of service. You can go online and look up DC One and tell them that you know, you're interested in making some appointment. They'll take your picture and you can get the DC One card. Uh, but if, if you don't want to do that, you can go up down to headquarters uh, right across from LaFont Plus in Southwest and get uh, 655 Virginia Avenue Southwest. And you can purchase the card from us for $2. Again, that card will take you all over D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. That's the senior smart trip call for all our seniors. And for uh, people that are not 65 and you have a disability, but not a real severe disability, but you're not 65, then we have a reduced fat program. That program is for someone who has a disability, but you're not severe enough to ride metro. You're not, it's not severe that you need metro access, but you did, but you do have a disability. That's a one-page application. Uh, you'd get that and you'd come down to office, stay net uh stay with the disabilities, and that's you get you get a card. It's called a reduced fat card where you can ride the bus and the train half fat all day long, too. That's a reduced fat card. But if you're 65, you don't need a reduced fat card, you just need to get the senior smart trip card. But if you're not 65, however, if you're not 65 and you do have a disability, then you can get the reduced fat card. And that, that allows you to ride the bus and the train at, uh, at half price or whatever. So I'm telling you two different programs. Reduced fat is for those people that have a disability, not that severe, not, but you do have a disability, you're not, you don't qualify for Metro Access, you may qualify for that program. You get the reduced fat card, which allow you to ride the bus and the train free of charge, a uh, bus and the train half fat. But see, a smart trip card does the same thing, but you got to be 65 to get that card. If you're 65 and get that card, then you can ride uh, the bus and train half fare as well with a senior smart trip card. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all I want to talk to you about. Thank you for your time, and I will take questions. Thank you so much. What is your last name, Reginald? Ward, Deb A-R-D. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I would like to acknowledge Alex Thompson. She is responsible for both Reginald and Christopher um, hosting, well, playing the role that they did. Um, she plays a very important mm. role in, in seeking out what seniors' needs are. And as you can see, she's going to wave. Go ahead and wave so <laughs> they can see you, Alice. And Hi. We say thank you to Alice. Thank, thank you. Hi, Alice. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. So our next question is covered from Ann Dennis again. So Ann, go ahead. It's your floor. Go ahead. And Ann, are you uh, on mute? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask um, Mr. Ward and uh, uh, Christopher, um, the uh, cards, is your aide allowed to ride with you or do you have to pay extra for them? Oh, uh, I can speak on taxi service with the program I was discussing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your, your aide can ride with you at no additional charge. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that with the other Also with Metro too? Access too. Same thing. Also okay. with Metro Access, they can ride, your PCA can ride with you free on Metro Access van. Oh, long okay, what long about with you? the card? Excuse me? Connect the card. The connect the card is just a form of payment, and it's not uh, it's not affiliated with any any programs. It's okay. A card that so happens. so if they rode, I'd have to pay for them too. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. If you're using one of the programs that 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 we discussed today, then no, Metro Access and Transport DC. In fact, the guidelines for Transport DC were based on Metro Access guidelines. That's what. Okay. Okay. And, and thank you. Thank you. I was confused a little bit. Okay. No Okay, thank you very much, uh, both of you. You you're a blessing to senior citizens, and people need to tell you thank you and that they appreciate you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, Barbara Mungo, go ahead, Barbara. On mute. Ask your question, Barbara Mungo. Okay, how you all doing today? Good. I'm Barbara. Okay, I have a question. I have a Metro Access card, and it expired this month on the 20th. Mm. So I called down there to um, Metro Building and the lady informed me that they's not taking, no one can't come into the building. So she was going to send me an application. That was about a week and a half, but I have not received the application. And could you explain to me, even though I'm just getting it renewed, how would they put a picture on the car? Excuse me, is it all right if I sign off? 
Um, Daniel, can you please I have to mute you? Go ahead. Sorry about that, Barbara. Okay. And okay. how would I? Uh, so go ahead, sir. Okay. And how would they put a picture on okay. the card if I'm not there for to take a picture? If they send me a picture, or when they send me a picture? <laughs> okay. What? What they would do, ma'am, they would some they would ask for a picture, but since you already insisted, they may use your picture that you had last your la on your last ID. Okay. We have that picture. Yes. Oh, we would do that, and uh, and they would just use that picture. Sometimes people say, "Well, I want to update picture," then they ask you to take a photo shot of yourself and send it to us, send it in, uh, email it in to us, and we'll put that up there. But a lot of times, people, you know, during the pandemic, people say, "Just use my last picture that you have on file, and we put that on your card." Um, again, you should get the application. You should call that number again. And if you don't, uh, we could send some applications to you. Okay, so I don't get my doctor to fill it out over again or nothing like that? Yes, ma'am. You got to get your doctor to fill your application out once again. But as far as staying your same disability, if your disability hasn't changed, uh, for him to do the same thing he'd done before and mail the application back into us. But once you mail it in, if you had it approved before and your disability hasn't changed, most likely you will get it. You'll be eligible for it again. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so we've got um, mm -hmm. just a few more minutes. In fact, we passed our time, but we'll, uh, is it okay, um, both Reginald and, and um, Chris, to take a few more questions? Yes. Um, we, I can perhaps th three more questions and then we call it. Okay. Is that okay? All right, so the next one will come from Lorraine Parham. Go ahead, Lorraine, on mute. Lorraine, on mute. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I, would afternoon. Like to speak, I would like to speak about the smart card. Uh, I don't recall hearing you say that you have to load money on the smart card. Yes, you do. Okay. Okay, and you can do that. When I first got my card, I had to go down to the... Uh, I think it was on Fifth Street, where the metro, where I got the card from, to load it. How can you load money on your card? Because my card is getting low. Okay, you can load your card, ma'am. Money. Some people do it online, or you can do it at any metro station. But in the metro station. Any metro station, any station you need, you can go up and then you ask the station manager to have you take it to the machine. You have your credit card or cash, and you can load money at any metro station, or you can do it online, whichever is most convenient for you. Because a friend of mine told me she was able to do it on the bus. That's why I wanted to ask you. You could do it on the bus as well. But a lot of times okay. I don't encourage, well, some seems to do it on the bus because it depends, you know, if not, don't okay. rush. I mean, no, because people sometimes see you taking out money that you that's subject to target you. So, but you can do it on the bus. But I encourage you, if you it's possible, go down to the station and some more, you know, and so that we can, you can have a station man assist you loading that money. And, uh, Amen. and that's, a, that's a little, that's to me, it's a safer process. That's just my question. Okay. Now, when I got my car, they didn't tell me you could ride all day. I just thought you could just only do one trip. You could, what you can do, man, I'm saying you, you can ride all day, half fat, wherever you go. That's what I'm talking about like that. You know, if you, if you got three trips and you got to pay each trip, instead of you paying full fare for, say if it's a, you ride a bus, you pay half fare. You, you got on the train, you pay half fare. You don't you don't ride all day free, but you ride all day half fat wherever you go. That's you what I'm saying. Like half all day half fat. That's yeah, what all day half fat all day. Okay. Whatever trip you go, it costs you half fat. If you get on a bus three times, it'll cost you half fat every time you ride that trip. You know. You oh, okay. Now, now, now you now you made a plane. I understand now. Now, if you ride the train two times that day, every time you ride the train, it costs to be half fat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, also, Lorraine, um, if you do have a debit or credit card, the help desk will be more than happy to help you and um, to access it online using your iPad. That's why you have the iPad is to do much of these things now online to load your card. So if you need, if you decide to go that route, call the help desk. We'd be more than happy to direct you and get you to that point. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Our next question is coming from Sandra and then Daniel, and then that should be it for, um, we must let these individuals go. They've already passed their time. So we'll just take one from Sandra, one question and one from Daniel. Go ahead, okay. Sandra. On I have a question. You said one of those rides you can take two people with you. 
that yeah. is, uh, with the Transport DC and with Metro Access. Is that correct, Reggie? Metro Access, you can only carry your PCA with you. You and your PCA. Okay. 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 Two people with you. That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. Next, last Thank one. You We've got Daniel Bell. Go ahead, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel, you have a question? Daniel, are you there? All right, so we're going to take that one and final question from Robert Roberts. And that go ahead, Robert. Yeah, I have a question here. Um, the headquarters for the DC one card. I think it's four forty one First Street Northwest. I mean, you, you, Fourth Street. Yeah. What was four forty one First Street? Fourth Street. Yeah. Yeah. What's Fourth. the what? What's at 65 Virginia Avenue Southwest? 655 Virginia Avenue is the home of Metro, the new Metro office, 655 Virginia Avenue Southwest. That's a home and of that's office, a, the building where you could go down and get your senior smart trip card if you wanted to purchase from them. Okay. Okay, and you had any questions about um, and, uh, uh, Metro, you can go to 655 Virginia Avenue, right across from the Fall Plaza of Metro Street, directly across okay. from the Fall Plaza Metro Station. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so it's such been wonderful having both Chris and Hi, um, Reginald on board. Hi, this is here. So we really appreciate your taking this time because I know you have a very busy schedule. And most importantly, Alice Thompson for organizing it. So everybody give it up to those three individuals. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. So Thank you all. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I learned something. We really enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's nice to see yeah. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to see you. Yeah. Good yeah. to see you. Yes. Okay, bye bye, Mr. Grayson. Bye bye, Mr. Ward. Teresa. Thank yes. you. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. I just, I just came out of the hospital. Oh, oh wow. I, 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 um, I suffered a mini stroke. Oh, oh geez. Sorry to hear that. You're gonna be in my prayers. Yes. 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 And, and, and I, I, I just got the end of, of the um session uh, because I just came on. I just wheeled myself in to my home. It was it was a, something at the side of my lip. I, it felt different, and I decided to go into the emergency. And I've been there for um, six days, and I just came out. I, I, um, the the trans, um, metro access brought me home. Praise God. Yeah. Uh, you live well, yes. yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bless you. Bless you. So we've come to this afternoon, the end of this afternoon session. Uh, I will definitely see you tomorrow for those of you who will be signing on. Miss Jackson. Okay. Bye. 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 I'm doing fine. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Teresa, go ahead. Uh, and um, yesterday, I could not get um, uh, answers to any questions because my I couldn't get my name on the list. Oh no! So I was wondering because that was one of my classes, and Friday I couldn't get on at I couldn't see or see whatever. So I know I have to take that class again. But I just want you to know that I was there and trying to participate. <laughs> okay, okay, oh. Emma, thank you for sharing that with me. Okay, Miss Teresa. You know, yes. Um, could you um let Miss Sandra um 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 add what's note? I said thank you and Mr. Michael Charles for thank for thank them for their testimony Friday. Oh, you Sandra, you there? Go ahead, yes, Sandra. I am. Um, thank you. You're welcome for that. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> okay.
Say hi, Mr. Michael. Really bless me. Hi, Dolores. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. <laughs> Miss Teresa. Yes. This is Lorraine. Will you please answer my email? I sure I'm not, I haven't been able to look at emails. I'm sorry. I haven't. I've been I've, I've actually was on a mini vacation. I oh, okay. So you, you're forgiven this time. Thank you. <laughs> as long as you Thank don't you. leave us for good. Hello? Uh, no, no, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> as long as God is waking me up in the morning, I'll be Amen. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's been a pleasure nice with you today. Thank and you, I will see you all happy and smiling tomorrow. Thank you. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Teresa, I just yes. wanted to say welcome back. Well, thank yes. you, Venus. Okay. Oh, this thank is you. Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Jennifer, feel better. Yes. 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 Thank you. Friends for you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.